Hi, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the next seven days. So you could say the 24th through the 31st of October, but then again, the timing is fluid seven days from the date that you watch it, okay? Any noise that you hear in the background is my cat who will not calm down for any reason, so whatever. So what do we have? Another cat. I have two cats. And she's going to go check it out because whatever. Anyhow, what do we have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What do we have for the next seven days? What do we have for Aquarius the next seven days? 24th to the 31st or whatever. Time, okay. Kite vacation. Maybe it's time to take a vacation, even if you're not traveling anywhere. Maybe you need to just take a break. Maybe you just need a little vacation. Maybe it's a vacation from your family or a vacation from your job. Maybe you just, or maybe it's a mental vacation. Maybe it's time to plan a vacation. Something to do with vacation this week. I think you need a little vacation. That's what I think. Maybe some of you are planning one. We're going, but this has to do with vacation. Vacation's all I ever wanted, all I ever needed, right? So what do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? Maybe you take a couple days off from work. Anyhow, what do we have for Aquarius? Younger woman, younger woman. So we have a younger woman that is very prominent this week. Oh, we just had a three cards. Interesting. Considering one of them is yours. Okay. So I think you're going to be really in your own energy. I feel like you're going to be glowing this week. Um, 911. 911. When I created this deck, I was thinking emergency. I do know that this is uh, numerology as well. Nines are about closure. Ones are about manifestation. They're your thoughts become things. There could be something that is closing in your life. You may be going through a period of evolution. Um, there is a younger woman somehow involved. It may have something to do with a partnership. Um, something is definitely coming to a close very, very soon. Messenger. So you may want to check out Messenger. Um, there could be a message that is coming. A messenger may be delivering you a message that has to do with a younger woman. Okay? Um, may have to do with, I don't know, when I, when I created that deck, I, when I did 911, I was thinking emergency. Okay? Um, maybe, it's, maybe you need to get back to yourself. That's why that Aquarius card is here. Maybe you need to ground yourself. You need to come back to yourself. Maybe that's why you need a vacation. I think that's what that is. Maybe you need to manage your thoughts, manage your feelings, because one, one's a, one is about thoughts, you know, and, and think positive about situations. I, anyway, I feel like you have to get back to yourself, you know, and I feel like the only, because you, you're showing up here. So I feel like that's what this is. Go back, get back to your younger self. Remember who you were, something like that. I also feel like there's a younger woman here that is affecting you in some way. You need to check out Messenger. If some, some of you, if somebody is doing something on Messenger, whether it's Facebook Messenger or Snapchat Messenger or something, and I feel like the 911 is right next to it. I feel like there's something that is hidden in somebody's Messenger. Or you're going to be receiving a message from somebody that... You could, uh, you could be receiving a message from somebody about a younger woman or from a younger woman. Anyhow, what do we have for Aquarius? Patience. Patience. Now, this is, for me, 
this is but I see get this card I mean I know it's not a 14 but I think of, te of temperance I do and I also think of timing because of that clock so something is happening I feel like you've been waiting for it I feel like it's time it's time it's time it's time you have been waiting for something and it is time Your hard work, you've been working really hard, I think, at something. Really, really, really hard. And I think you need a little bit of vacation. I think it's you're evolving as well because I want to keep see, saying evolution. You, you're evolving. There's some sort of evolving here. You may be going through some sort of event that is life-changing this week and you're going to need to accept, accept what is happening. This is part of your evolution. That's exactly what it is, too. Thinker. Thinker. I'll show it to you in just a minute. Thinker. Strategy, being analytical and logical. The ability to reason and strategize is in focus now. Take things at face value and follow the logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct, for in this moment there is no deeper meaning than what is obvious. And there is something that is being made obvious. I'm positive. Things are exactly as they seem. You have all the information you need. Keep it simple and you will win the game of life you're playing right now. Love is not logical, but when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of your partnership. If there is enough common ground, go for it. If not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work. And should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in fantasy, no matter what. In this case, the facts are the facts. Calculated action is called for now. It's important to sit down and plan a strategy. Focus on the steps you're going to take to claim your prosperous life. List, list, lists, lists, you know, writing a list are your friend right now. So get out your journal. Write down what you are going to do today to signal to the universe that you're serious about attracting abundance. Your plans and strategies will yield wonder, wonderful results. Remember your most effective strategy partner is spirit. You will win this game and your triumph will be for the highest good of all. You might be suffering from analysis paralysis, okay? Thinking has its place, but trying to figure everything out logically is not going to work right now. Your conclusions will likely be faulty, and you may act upon false assumptions that will get you in a jam. Give your mind a rest. Interesting. That's why we have vacation. Do something creative. Exercise or meditate. Soon you'll come to your senses. And an aha moment will bring you the answer that you need. Interesting. You need to take a time out. You need to, re you need to recenter yourself. You need to take a time out. I feel like there's a message and maybe the messenger is from above. I don't know. There's something. It's like an emergency. I feel like it's an emergency. I do. And I don't mean like it's a disaster type of emergency. It's like there's a message that you need to get. And I feel like you got it. I feel like you know what it is. I do. I think you already know the answer. You're, but you've been thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. And I think that if you would take a time out to just sit in stillness, the true clarity that you've been seeking will come to you, okay? I feel like there's some sort of younger woman here that is affecting your life. Some of you may know it. You may be in denial about it. I'm not sure. What do we have? What do we have for Aquarius? 
Queen of Pentacles could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is about grounding yourself. You definitely need to ground yourself. You need to be practical. You may need to be uh, realistic, okay? I feel like you have... You have to know your value. You need to focus on your value. Focus on your self-worth. Focus on yourself. Focus on yourself. Two of Wands reverse. Two of Wands reverse is indecision, held back by fear, fear of change, restricting yourself. Maybe uh, something has happened. It's unplanned. You know, maybe you're disappointed. Um, being held back. You're being held back for some reason. Seven of Swords reverse. I wonder if there's been some deception and there's been some sort of denial. It's time to let go. You need to find a new approach. You, you uh, have to be honest with yourself. It feels like for some of you, you've been in denial over a situation. There could be some manipulation. There could be lies. There could be theft. There's ignoring, ignoring advice. Some, somebody is ignoring. They may ignoring the truth. Somebody may also be, be getting caught doing something. I don't know if they've been cheating. They've been lying. They've been doing something. They've been hiding something. Um, and I feel like there's been a lot of denial here, in denial about the whole situation. Um, There's, somebody's about to get a reality check. There, a reality check is coming. Whether somebody's getting caught doing something, they're getting caught red-handed. World reversed. Now, the world reversed is a lack of success. It's, it's a lack of closure, right? This is no success, no lack of completion. It's, it's stuck, stuck in the present, refusing to take a new approach, resisting change. Somebody is resisting it. They're resist, what you resist persists. Not learning, not learning, not learning a lesson, staying stuck, refusing to step into the future. So this is like very frustrated, you know, because, and again, with the Seven of Swords, refusing, refusing to explore, somebody is refusing. They're refusing to take a new approach. There's a need to take a new approach. And you've got to be honest with yourself about something. I feel like, I feel like there's, there's somebody that is hanging on to something that, where there's been a lot of lies and it's just like ignoring it. I feel like it's just ignoring it, you know. Knowing the answer, but ignoring the truth. That's what I feel like this is. Um, turning a blind eye. It's like I'm just going to pretend that that everything is okay. Everything is not okay. Anyway, we have a three of swords on the bottom. The three of swords is pain. It's suffering, right? It's, it's um, heartache, grief, being stabbed. This hurts. It hurts really, 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 really bad. So I'm wondering if you're getting, getting hurt by somebody or somebody's hurting you really, 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 really bad. And it's hard to accept what they've done. So let's just push it. Let's just push it to the side and that kind of thing. Um, Ace of Wands, and the Ace of Wands is an exciting new beginning. It's it's a fresh start. It's a new spark. It's a new desire. It's a new direction. It's it's action. Okay, it's it's starting. It's a new start. So you do have a new start here. Could be a new sexual partner. Um, two of Wands reverse could be sudden. It could be. It could be extremely sudden. You may, some of you may not be looking for somebody and you could run into somebody with that seven of swords reversed. Maybe it's somebody that you know, you knew in the past. And I say that because the world card is reversed right next to the seven of swords reversed. So I'm wondering if you could run into somebody or you could just run into somebody spontaneously with that two of wands or I don't know I feel like you could run into somebody this could be it's very sudden whatever it is there's something that is going to happen spur of the moment very very suddenly um could be a sudden change a sudden reveal I feel like there's a sudden reveal maybe it's even a well knight of swords reversed oh my god queen of swords upright so some sort of truth is going to come out. Some sort of truth is going to come out. It may hurt. The truth is probably with this Knight of Swords reversed. This is the truth. This is the whole truth. So some sort of truth is about to be revealed. Somebody's about to get a reality check. 
somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. I'm just being completely honest. Or they've already left without saying goodbye. There's no closure here. Uh, the Knight of Swords reversed is very, uh, could be dangerous. I mean, this could be dangerous. This is very, this is a shock. It is extremely sudden. We may have somebody here that is ignorant, that is a know-it-all, that is uh, leading others into danger. This could be somebody that isn't very logical, that doesn't care who they hurt. This is an untrustworthy individual that it doesn't care who they hurt, that is doing something suddenly, doing something very spontaneous. Um, <clears throat> hangman, hangman is sacrifice. So we have somebody here that is sacrificing themselves for a cause or a belief or a situation. And there's a need to let go. And the struggle is real to let go. So I feel like you're struggling to let go of somebody. Um, and you're sacrificing yourself for this person. Could be a Pisces. Doesn't have to be. We also have uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here pretty prominently. We also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe there's some sort of strong desire to be with this person. But there's a lot of lies and there's a lot of deception. Could definitely be some cheating. Somebody could be uh, communicating with somebody from their past. You know? Um, and the truth is here. It's like, I know the truth, you know, the truth is here. I feel like we, ha there's somebody here that is looking for a fight as well. They may be picking a fight or blaming with the Knight of Swords reversed. They may get this, um, you know, they could get hot. They could get, they could just get suddenly all pissed off and pick a fight, you know? Um, so be prepared for that. Um, making a decision you need to be open-minded you need to be honest with yourself you need to be truthful if you're in a situation where there's no success and you're being cheated and lied to i think you need to be logical and you also need to be grounded you need to be practical okay you need to get back to yourself if you're dealing with somebody that is hiding things from some from you and you know that the, that you are thinking of or, or you know that they are Thinking about it isn't going to do any good. You've got to take action. That's the Ace of Wands. That's action. <clears throat> you got to stop wasting your time and sacrificing yourself for somebody that's never, ever, ever going to change. Okay? I feel like you are going to be receiving a message. <clears throat> that's interesting. I think there's been a lack of communication or there's been... Uh, miscommunication or something. Somebody's been hiding something. I know that they have because we have the moon twice. And the two of wands reverse and seven of wands reverse, it's reverse. So the moon is reverse. So in, in these cards, so it is. I can, okay, I'm going to show you. You see, the moons are both reversed. That's a reality check. That's truths being revealed. So there is some sort of truths that are going to be revealed that have been hidden. Some of you are dealing with the Pisces. It doesn't have to be, or Cancer. Uh, we also have we have everybody here really um there's a lack of 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 acceptance flogging a dead horse you know i don't want to i don't want to know the truth i don't want to accept the truth i don't want to believe the truth but this is the fucking truth anyhow and now we got temperance on the bottom which is change okay it's evolution it's accepting and allowing it's going with the flow. After death, temperance comes after death. Okay, it comes after an ending. So I feel like you're going to need to manage your feelings during this time because you're going to be going through a change. Okay? I feel like you need to find the self-discipline within you to, to change, to accept change, or to accept that something is over. This is about your evolution, which I said at the very beginning of this reading. Okay, I feel like this is a time of accepting, going after something better. I feel like you have, this is exchanging something lesser for something better. Okay, but you have to be willing to accept that something is over. Because that's, death comes before temperance. So I feel like something is over. And I feel like you've been struggling to, with a hangman struggling to let it go. And I think you've been, this is a week of thinking, 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 thinking. Maybe it's really thinking about your value because this is the queen of value. So you need to take a time out. You need to take a time out so you can get that, that epiphany that is waiting. Okay, there's an epiphany here that is going to come to you. Um, and I think there's something that is coming to a close. 
I think it's time. It's time. It's time. You've evolved. You're not the same person. You shouldn't be involved in this. In these lies, right? I mean, Seven of Swords reverse next to the Knight of Knight of Swords reverse. Maybe even an abusive situation. You know, there could be mental abuse here, verbal abuse, even physical abuse, or cheating, or whatever it is. This is somebody that does not. You are dealing with somebody that does not care who they hurt at all. They do not, as long as they are the center of attention. And I think that you know this. But there's fear of change, fear of the unknown, fear of starting over, fear of not being accepted, fear of something. You need to be open-minded. I feel like you're going to read something and it's a, it has to do with a message that changes everything. Good luck. <laughs>